months? Yeah. Nine months we have been boots on the ground in Minnesota, in northern Minnesota. And um, I'd like to ask here, you know, who's comfortable that around the same time Governor Walls approved the permits for the pipeline, that water became a commodity on Wall Street? So, with Enbridge's Pipeline 3, it is going through more than nearly half of North America's fresh water. It has 22 river crossings and it goes through more than 200 bodies of fresh water. Enbridge is already successfully poisoning our water. They already have successful leaks and they've already fracked out multiple times, at least five times into the Mississippi River. You guys, this just does not infect indigenous land. This affects many. It affects millions upon millions upon millions of people. And we know that since all this oil that's going to be running through Enbridge's Line 3 is going directly to China, and China sells oil to North Korea. So with that being said, we know that Canada does not care that they destroy our freshwater supply. We know that China does not care that we that they destroy our freshwater supply. So with that being said, with water being a commodity on Wall Street now, we know that Canada and China don't care about the United States. So why not take down the country by taking down its fresh water supply? Water is a commodity on Wall Street now, guys. We have to be serious about this. Millions and millions of lives are at stake. Right now, this movement is being led by indigenous women. And like our friend said before us, indigenous women are 10 times more likely to end up missing and murdered. And here we are leading this fight. I have been in the middle of ceremony when police officers decided to rip us away while we are praying and arrest us. A few weeks ago, I was arrested for praying on a bridge over the Mississippi River. They called me a public nuisance for praying. And all I want to do is save millions of lives by saving our water. I have no problem sacrificing my future and my freedom for everyone's right to water. Enbridge is betting on the fact that their pipeline will go through, their pipeline will leak, and if they are successful, within less than 10 years, water could cost more than gold. No one can afford gold. Is this the future we want for our children? Does President Biden want to be known as the president who destroyed the United States? No. This is a serious question that he needs to ask himself. Right now, millions of lives are in danger because their water is being threatened. And President Biden is letting this happen. So today we come out here to speak to you all and to speak to President Biden. Because we know what's happening. If we know what's happening, he should know what's happening. And if he's allowing this to happen, he will be known as the president who destroyed the United States of America. I want to thank everyone for being here today. I really, really appreciate it. Um, like I said, this pipeline is not only going to affect indigenous land. This pipeline is not only going to affect indigenous people. This pipeline will affect millions upon millions of people all the way down to North or, or all the way down to New Orleans. Right now, we have so many climate refugees. How many more do we need? Where are we gonna go if our water is destroyed? Because there's nowhere left for us to migrate to. So it's just a question that I need everyone to start asking everybody else. Where are we gonna go when there's no more water? Are we gonna start killing each other over a bottle of water like some other countries in this world? Is that what President Biden wants? He wants us to start killing each other over water just so China and Canada can make a few bucks? It's disgusting. It's disgusting. So with that being said, I want to thank everyone here today, and I want to pass it over to my brother.